This is the seventh grade lesson for the 17th of February. Some reminders, all vocab assignments are late as of now. Viewing logs are due tonight. Triangle Factory Fire discussion is late. Monthly reading assignment is due February 28th. And all green schedule forms are due to me today. I end of school today, that's what is going to be done. All right. Now, you ended up picking a couple quizzes yesterday, or on block day. Now, one of those quizzes was the Triangle Factory Fire one, and my class averages hovered around the 30 to 40 percent out of 100 percent. It was not pretty. So I ended up adding or curving um, the score by adding a few points. Okay? So your grade is going to be a little bit higher than you see on eCampus. Your eCampus is your actual grade. However, if you take a look at Skyward, your grade is going to be significantly higher. Okay? That's because I severely curved the scores. In doing so, we are going to go through the test question by question and actually figure out what the answers are next week sometime. Okay? All right. So today we did a little bit of research. Okay? So I'm going to go through the slideshow, basically just explaining what we're going to be doing. Make sure you're pausing the video at select moments so you can actually read what I'm doing. Okay. When you are doing research, we're going to be doing research online, right? Not print sources. We're going to be using digital resources. Okay. You're going to be researching information about the Triangle Factory Fire. Be careful about what website you are actually using, because there are some websites that like to do fake news. Okay, they will get you. I've been, I've been uh, had by several of those websites. Okay, you have websites like Wikipedia that give you a lot of good sources, but if you actually use it as a source itself, it doesn't count. Okay, so Wikipedia, scroll down to the very bottom of the page you're looking at and look at their resources. That's where you're going to be getting your information from. Okay, always check your source to see if it is recognized as a quality source. Okay, look for, you know, certain websites that you know they have a good name. Okay, so CNN, ABC, NBC, New York Times, USA Today. There might be some bias in them, but they're actually going to give you a better sense of what's going on. Whereas a website like Wikipedia or anything else that's not an official website can be changed at the whim of anybody. Okay? So here's what you're going to be doing after, you're, after we've read through all of that. Okay? Well, last note, make sure you are always citing your sources. Always, 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 always cite your source. So on the top of a Word document, okay? Write the question you see bolded here, which is what reforms or changes to the Triangle Factory Fire tragedy make necessary? And here is your actual task. Okay, you're going to find three primary sources directly related to the Triangle Factory Fire. Now, if you remember from your Nearpod yesterday, you ended up taking some notes on primary and secondary sources. So you should know what to expect. Okay, your primary sources are photographs from, of the actual event, or eyewitness accounts, testimonials from people that were actually there. Okay, and then one more of your choosing. It'll be a picture, a quote, sound clip, video, whatever you like. But it has to be a primary source from the actual event that happened. Okay? Find an encyclopedia entry for the fire, secondary source. That's not Wikipedia. Use Encyclopedia Britannica, encyclopedia.com. There are many different encyclopedias you could use. Do not use Wikipedia. Okay? And then find a story or a secondary source which discusses the impact of the fire. What was the aftermath? That's what that question was asking for, right? And make sure for all of your information, you were telling me the name of where you found it. So not only the web address, but the actual name of the website, who the author is, and when it was published. Okay? So when you are finished with all of that, send me what you found, especially if you were absent. Okay? That concludes the lesson of the day.